We're back to Zomboid, everybody. Hello. So. I think I'm getting the hang of it slowly, surely. I haven't played since the last video went up, but that's fine. So. I took a little bit of time between the previous episode and this one to kind of read through this stuff. It sounds like it's mostly just challenge stuff, like it says here. So it's not, like, gonna help me much. Like, this one, for example, you, uh, start having an injury, it sounds like, having a bad fall, your house is on fire, you have nothing on, and uh, it's just an overall bad time. So I think we're going to continue going with the uh, custom sandbox here, and I think we'll just do, uh, what is that, Maldrew, Kentucky something? Let's rename this save, we're going to call it uh, a fresh start and of course you, know, you gotta remember you have to have the no spaces there perfect so as i'd said i'd done a little bit of pre-work sort of stuff which uh, i have a preset here and we can kind of go through it a little bit so i'm going to start in may instead of july um starting day is going to be day one i think it was day seven or nine by default starting hour is 7 a.m basically going to wake up and shit's going to it's just going to be starting to go to hell. Uh, instead of uh, very often for locked houses, I'm going to set often because I don't think a lot of people lock their doors unless they're in bad neighborhoods for the most part. Rotten food removal is going to be seven again. Loot's going to respawn every month. Um, and then we have darkness. It's going to be bright at night because you guys couldn't probably see anything in the video then. And then light bulb duration, we're just setting to be zero because I don't want them to break and whatnot. Uh, then in nature, we only change the fog density to a little bit lower. And then everything else is uh, here. We have XP multiplier is going to be 2.0 just to speed things along a little bit. Uh, XP multiplier affects passive stats. We're going to do that. I turned off nutrition, so we don't have to really worry too much about what we eat as long as we are eating. And then I enabled the weapon multi-hit, which enables certain melee weapons to be able to strike multiple zombies in one hit, which Sort of makes sense to have if you're swinging around a crowbar or something and you hit multiple people, right? Um, and then I changed this from low has a chance for gas to a normal chance. And initial gas is normal because I'm assuming a lot of people don't run out their tank before they go in there. And then that's pretty much everything that's changed here. Moving on to the stats, I made a preset called Rocky, like Rocky Balboa, because he uh, things like a, what is it? He floats like a butterfly because he's dexterous and graceful and inconspicuous. But then he stings like a bee because he has higher strength, right? But we're also a slow learner, so we get decreased XP gains, which I figured would probably offset the uh, double XP we're getting. We're prone to illness because, honestly, if we get infected, um, we're probably going to die anyway. So we're just going to try to avoid getting hurt, and then we're a slow reader, so it just takes longer to read books, which is not a big deal. Then we have my guy set up here, which uh, is actually supposed to have a red shirt. That one also is supposed to be a t-shirt, but <clears throat> that's just what I decided to go with. Just make a generic kind of character and actually name it. So, this is going to be my first kind of actual attempt of trying to survive for as long as I can. Which, uh, ain't going to be very long, let's be honest. But at least we have some default settings and stuff set up so we can go into it and, you know, do what we can. Okay, it was taking a second to disappear. Oh no. Did I? Okay, I thought for a second that I had actually uh, selected one of the scenarios and not sandbox because it was taking a while to load. That's the exit. Let's just loot what we can for now. Hopefully we can find a, a weapon. We have 18 here, so I'm going to take this saw. I'll leave that stuff. Never hurts to have a saw, though. What do we got over here? 
Word search, a VHS, a pen. I'll take the pen. Metalworking 2, we'll take that. Grab the magazine 2 while we're at it. All right. How about over in this room? This is just the bathroom, which doesn't really help us all, all that much. Kitchen, what do we got? We got some canned food. That's good. Take some of that for right now. Actually, maybe we won't take the canned food. I will kind of combine it into the, uh, the freezer and fridge, though, right? Let's see. Can we get a weapon like a rolling pin? I'll take a bread knife. That'll better than nothing. Uh... I don't think we have anything else here that we can really use. Anything else back this way? Nope. Let's head to the second floor. And we'll take a look at what we got up here. Hopefully we're alone in our house this time and not gonna get jumped by a bunch of baddies. Cooking volume two. What do we got in the bathroom? We have hair dye, a bunch of junk, some bandages, we'll take those. Soap, more bandages, it's always good. A dead mouse, Don't worry about that. We do got painkillers, which is good for us to have if we get injured, because last time we were just having a bunch of trouble with severe pain all the time. So we got two beds there, and we have a master bedroom here. Uh, Knee-high dress, and a long sleeve t-shirt, which you know what? I think... Can I rip these up? I might as well take them and rip them up while we're here. And then can I read these? I cannot read these. I have to get the first book first. Okay, that's fine. So it's 7am, so it is a little bit dark out here. Um, there shouldn't be too many zombies crawling around since it is day one. Oh, it looks like old man Jenkins is over here. All right, so if I open up the map, we're in sort of a little residential neighborhood, which is great. Uh, all right, we're going to have to equip this knife. Okay. Let's head out, and we're going to do what we can to hopefully get some gear before the uh, bad times start happening. Did that one-shot him? I just, like, stabbed him in the gut. Okay. Got a clip-on tie. How does a guy in a suit not have a watch? Oh, that's fine. Um, is it E to climb over? There we go. I thought you could just run at it. We got another zombie there. Another one there. Might as well take them out if we can. I don't know if we'll be able to sneak up on them. I just butter knife go down. Oh, he's dead. Okay. No watch. Okay. That was a weak butter knife. Just he didn't notice. This door's open, which is not a great sign. Ooh, we got a key. Great. No watch, though. <laughs> so maybe she has a, uh, a vehicle somewhere. She must have broken that window. A washer dryer here with nothing in it. I don't know about those, Chief. Tongs. A whole lot of nothing in here so far. Was there a cabinet in the bathroom? There was. But again, nothing in it. Music was going hard for a little bit there. Hmm. Just a desk with nothing on it, huh? Anything in these cupboards? Nope. 
gonna get some medical supplies and stuff before we you know had a bad time. There's nothing here. Is that what loot does? Is that what I mean like loot luck does there? I feel like I don't have luck and now I'm having like nothing spawning in these areas. Oh. Okay, I gotta be careful about that, huh? Oh, there's also this little room here that I guess I didn't look into. But again, it has nothing. Great, okay. So I guess I'm gonna just wrap up all this clothes real quick. Just to make some bandage for the future, you know. Okay. Look what we got next. So there's more stuff up there. If I cross the street, there's three zombies over there, and we don't have a weapon anymore. Because apparently our our knife broke immediately, so I'm just gonna drop that actually rather than have it take up stuff. I don't know if I can use the saw as a weapon. Can I open the mailbox? No. Oh. There's a green shirt back there found me. It might actually be wise to kill him quick if he continues following me. Oh. A couple zombinos there. Okay. Okay. Nope. Be open, be open, be open. It is? Oh, yeah. Okay. Let's get him out of this way. Oh, I guess we're doing more damage because I actually have a... I need a... I need a weapon. Frying pan. There we go. Okay. I'm not going to be... Oh, shit. There's a lot of them there. Open? Is that not a door? Mm -mm. Okay. Can I take these guys down or am I going to get jumped here? Keep backing up and keeping a decent distance away from him. And that's one dead. Stay away. Y'all back up. Just the green guy left. Watch. <clears throat> okay. Real quick. Anyone else around? No. Okay, let's quickly loot the rest of these guys. For any keys or anything like that. Okay, perfect. I'm not going to worry too much about looting uh, clothing and stuff from them. What we got here? A bunch of knives. Okay, I'll, I'll take all of those. A kitchen knife. That's much better. Fresh cooked salmon. TV dinner. Grab those for right now. What about here? A blue pen. I already got a Single pen, right? Yeah, okay. All right, now let's search the rest of this stuff real quick, because we just had to come in here and get a pan as quickly as we could. Oh, shit, I think that guy just saw me. Okay, there's more food here. They're in upstairs to this place. There is. Um, first aid, disinfectant. Perfect. Take the tweezers and the bandage as well. All right. You guys are just kind of out there chilling. Let me look at this area again. Okay. I think I might go out here and kill those guys real quick. You got a new lady. Really panties. Okay. All right, gents, come on. 
I think you're the last ones in this yard, so if I can get rid of you guys, I should be able to whew, avoid getting bit right there. Let me ground. Shit. Well, that's less than ideal. Let's fall over. Bandage that. Um, we'll just use the adhesive bandages. I don't know if that bitten means I'm screwed or not. Um, I guess we'll find out with time. If we are screwed, then so be it. We'll just start again. We're not too far in. But uh, we'll just have to wait and see what happens. So there was a second floor up here. Kitchen knife. What was primary? And then where are my other butter knives up here? What was secondary? Okay. So now if we need to, we have uh, some weapons that are ready here. Where's search magazine? Don't care. Yeah, I think we're doing more damage because we have that uh, strength trait, which gives us more strength makes sense bleach huh thirst negative seven uh, sixty really bleach can cure your thirst huh now, I know I don't need to eat all this chicken but I'm going to or else it's just gonna go bad I can also dump this frying pan on the ground I'm probably not going to be able to repair it anytime soon. Oh, right, we got soap. And then we got stuff here. Take the vitamins. Why not? All right. And then the last room we got here. Another bedroom, it looks like. Pants, pillow, bra, um, Okay. Gotcha. All right. Let's real quick. We're going to remove this bandage. See how the wound looks. And it's infected. Okay, let's disinfect that. Hopefully that'll help. Maybe I needed to do that before it said infected. I don't know. I'm going to put another bandage on it and we'll just see how it works. Because again, I don't know exactly how... Wait. Let me grab that bleach, actually. Can I... Can disinfect the bandage to make a sterilized bandage. I'll put that one on next. Apparently I can't do it again. Hmm. Anyway, where are the stairs? Right here. Okay. I need to keep going and looting, but uh, let me go to the sink real quick to Clean all these rags. Okay. Uh, grab Weezer's beta block. Wait, what? Is there stuff in here that I missed? Apparently there were. Do I have multiple tweezers now? What did I do? Yeah, I do. Okay. Put in a container. Grab one. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. What are the beta blockers? What do these do? Reduces panic. Okay. Bandage is already dirty. Remove it again. I'll put the disinfected bandage on it. I think we'll just let that sit for a while. I don't know if I need to be replacing the bandages as soon as they're dirty, or if, like, I can wait some time, or, or what exactly, but look at the map real quick. Well, there's food in these houses. Um, is there a, like, food icon? I tried to zoom in on that. Okay, 
So we know there's food there. If we need to come back for it. I forgot to take a drink from the sink. Hold on. I'm really hoping that uh, we don't have to worry about being infected here. Because it's just day one, for God's sake. Let's check out this next. Just die, bro. I need to get like a proper tool, I think. Get back. Get back. these guys real quick. A locket, huh? Earbuds, oh man, he had his earpods in. That's why he didn't hear me. Nothing in the mailbox. I wonder if there's anything ever in the mailboxes. Should I even be checking them? I guess it would just be like magazines or newspapers, right? Let me in! Alright. Try and find a window. Excuse me, I had to ease there. Blue propane tank, okay. Are they still trying to break through there? They are. Why did I get jump scared? There we go. Then while they're on the ground, I can try to smash them, but apparently not. Never mind. And that higher strength really makes a difference, doesn't it? Okay, let's go ahead and climb through the window. Uh, we will go ahead and... Uh, I guess I'll just leave it open. Why not? We're getting some extra bandages. Got some sheets, too. Got some vitamins. More bandages. Never hurts to have more. There are the stairs. <laughs> Plenty of food there. A leash, huh? <laughs> Cleaning liquid. We might be able to disinfect something with that. And food. Uh, an oven mitt. Ooh, we got a rolling pin. We can use that to uh, bash some brains in if we need to. Um, Radio Technologies Radio. Oh, that's neat. I don't really have a use for it, though. Also, I need to, uh... I'm gonna drop the kitchen knife. And then we will... Equip one of these. And... What else did I pick up? A rolling pin, right? Put that in my... There we go. All right, so now we have a couple of things here. The cleaning liquid. Mm. I can't disinfect anything with it. That's fine. What else we got here? Hammer! Hell yeah. A gel suit jacket. I will wear that. I'll give me some more protection from all these bite wounds and shit I got. It looks like the wound on my hand is... It stopped bleeding, at least, since I'm no longer... Getting them dirty immediately. Let's see how long that lasts. Uh, tailoring and hunting. Don't know if I'll be hunting a lot, but I I'm definitely not gonna fish, so I'm not even gonna read that one. Um, let's see. 
a little warm, as to be expected. First Aid Volume 2. Ooh. Trying to raise doctors in this household, it seems. Denim shorts, headphones. I don't think you're going to do anything for me. Okay, nothing here. Uh-oh. Ladies Auto Performance Man. I think I can use that. Get off me. And it broke. I wonder why my weapons are breaking so quickly now. Is it just because I'm getting... Ooh, a key ring. Keys. Okay. Is it just that I'm like <laughs> breaking stuff too easily? Oh, that's a classic watch. I want a digital watch. I think that'll give me more information, right? Yeah, boy. Which is the temperature and date and all that. Excellent. All right, what we got in here? First aid kit. Take that. More bandages. Room. Might as well wear the summer hat. Okay. Oh, hold on. I think there's a shelf back here. Oh man, I missed out on the wall pens. Could have missed out on those, huh? Alright. Again, I don't think we can read volume twos quite yet, right? Alright, so this lady's auto performance the skill book. Unread. Uh, instructive manual containing diagrams and common practice things for modern. Oh, that doesn't say lady. This is Lene's or Lane's. Okay. We're anxious, but that's fine. Um, climb through. Where to next? Down there doesn't look promising. We got a little shed up here we can take a look at. Probably should run. I think we're doing pretty great. I wish I could see like how it looks without having to take it off, you know. Ooh, a generator? I'm gonna close this door real quick. Oops. There we go. Box of screws, I already have a saw, gas cans, a couple more magazines, or still books I should say. Carpentry and electrical would be helpful. That would be really helpful. Fucking pen. Or not a pen, a backpack. Ooh, here we go. Screwdriver. We have some propane tank nonsense. Butter knife's broken, I can just drop that. The ball peen hammer. I guess that can be my primary weapon. Or I could use a metal bar, actually. I'm just gonna loot that stuff for right now. A lot of decent stuff in here. I could make some stuff from it. And then we have the uh, this generator, which... <coughs> Connect generator. Take generator. I don't think I have to actually carry it. So let's open up our map. And is there like a electric bolt? There is. We can make a note. Can I make that smaller? Is that like as small as it can go? We'll do that. Probably also food in there, so we can just do that. I thought I heard pounding, but it was just the music. As one does. Okay. Um, let's open up my inventory real quick. Equip as primary weapon. The ball peen hammer. Oh yeah. And then the regular hammer. Attached to the right belt. I a screwdriver somewhere right yeah attached to the left belt there we go all right we're really overweight I think I'm gonna drop the bleach 
the butter knife. Let's drop that rolling pin is not in great condition. I think I'm just gonna drop the rolling pin too. Used with infrared curtains. A little thirsty. I, I do need water. One thing that we uh, do not have. We have some food, but not a lot of water on us. Patch of ground looks odd. Oh. I'm gonna. Doesn't even look like I'm crouching. Whatever. I'm gonna sneak up on this guy, see if I can pop him in the head. Okay. What did they drop for me? A whole lot of nothing but a leather jacket. Okay. A couple more houses here. I think crouching and moving is the same speed as walking normally and moving. We got some zombies down south don't really want to play with. Can't get in there, but oof. It's not great. I'm gonna go around his back where that zombie just bashed that window open at. I think he had some stuff sticking out of him. Did he kill himself? Hmm, I thought he had like uh, a knife sticking out of his back or something, but apparently not. I think he knocked him out unconscious, though. Alright, let's go ahead and climb through here. I'm going to close this window. It might be wise to kind of hunker down here for the night. In this house. So I think that's what we will do. We can learn fishing from this uh, thing here. Ooh, first aid volume one. Perfect. Just what we needed. That would be helpful. Oh. That's the guy who I saw. Okay. I knew I saw one with a, something in his back. Okay, what did he have in his back? A screwdriver? <laughs> That's about right. I'll grab those uh, vitamins. Now let's clear the rest of this place before we get in trouble. Anything in here? Nope, looks like it's just a normal bathroom. I don't like that that window is just open. Is that another door just leading outside? No, okay. A fanny pack. I'll take that. I'll put that on in a moment, but for now, let's just continue our way outside. Some of those floorboards are looking pretty rough for wear. What was that? Oh! Hey, lady! Oh, shit. I need you to die. There we go. All right, do I have any sterilized bandages? I do not. Let's just put an adhesive one on here then. Hopefully that doesn't get infected. That would be not great. Got a sewing kit though. Ooh, we got antibiotics. Fights wound infections. Nice. Cannot prevent zombification. That's fine. I think I'm going to leave... Wait, didn't I just do the left hand? So my right hand finally got dirty, did it? <gasps> they knocked off my hat, though. Dang, zombies. Take a drink. Get rid of that nonsense. Hold on, Where, where's my hat? I didn't put it back on. Did I get interrupted? Too quickly, it looks like. <gasps> a satchel! 
Hell yeah. What is, what is this? What oh, replaces the t-shirt, huh? I'll just rip it up. Cube. Cube. Be able to use that to have fun and lower your anxiety and shit. Okay. Uh, real quick. Let's. What was I gonna do? I think I have a hat in my inventory, right? Yeah. Wear this. There we go. All right. So satchel. To equip that on our back. And we have a nice little satchel there. And then we also had our fanny pack. Which we can attach on the front. Okay. Then we can take this stuff and I'm just gonna... I'll sit on the ground. I don't need no book. Oh, my glasses. I can knock my glasses off too. Did I have glasses? Yep. Yeah, thought I did. Ooh, I can hold 15 in that satchel? That is great. I might put these books that I have in the satchel then. Just kind of have it be like a, a learning satchel. I can read both of those to learn that stuff. I can learn that one right now. Let's throw the metalworking in there. Tailoring and hunting can go in there. I think that's all the things we got. So let's go ahead and uh, let's eat this fresh cooked salmon and get our Hunger back up. Okay. So if I look at these rip sheets. Let's see. Can I make I was thinking I could use the ripped sheets to make like curtains or something. Maybe I just have to go to the window to do it. Oh, both my things are dirty now. If I look at the window, carpentry, can't do anything there. I'd like to block out those two windows back there, but. I don't think I'm going to have much luck with that. I'm in minor pain, which is not great. Yeah. Can't do anything there. I'm just going to get away from that. Okay. Device options. Can I change the channel? Okay. I was looking for everything else. I'm kind of queasy. Let's take a look at how these look. That's just scratched. Okay, we'll put a ripped sheet on it. This one might be infected. Just bitten. Um, does bitten mean you're screwed? I, I forget. I wish I knew for sure. We're going to lower the volume. Barely anything. There's a VHS tape in here, wasn't there? Or the CD. Another house had a VHS tape. Okay, well. I'm gonna close this. I'm gonna... Can I sit on this couch? No, I can sit on the ground, though. That's fine. Sit on the ground. Alright. So what we'll do, just in the meantime, is we'll, we'll read our first aid books. So let's go ahead and read this guy. It'd be nice if the TV was playing something too at the moment. Because I think you can stack reading a book and also uh, watching information like that. 
I'm a slow reader, so it's going to take a while. So let's go ahead and speed things up. Did the news just cut out already? I'm getting a little drowsy. Once we hit the next level of sleepiness, we'll... Uh... Oh, now they want to do it. Okay, now we're tired. All right, let's get up. Need to drink a little something, so let's go over to the sink. Make ourselves a drink. All right. I'm in minor pain. I'm not sure if I can sleep with minor pain. I know the other stuff I couldn't. We'll see. Kind of blink around up here. And enjoy our first night. Bed. Bedroom, right? Yep. Open the door. There we go. Okay. I guess they're bunk beds, but whatever. Okay, yeah, so we can sleep. Uh, first of all, we're going to remove the bandages and just rebandage this one. Do I have more ripped sheets? I think I do. Yeah, I have so many ripped sheets. Wait, it's infected again? Ow! It was only scratched before. Annoying. Um, antibiotics. Take. We're just going to go ahead and take the antibiotics. Hopefully fight off some infection here. And then we're going to go ahead and sleep. Yes, we want to sleep. Alright, and that'll pass our time here, and we'll eat the last of the food we're currently carrying. Mm. I did go from that to that, which is not ideal. Okay. Head to the bathroom here. We're going to, uh... Clean everything real quick. Wait, did they shut the water off already? Hey. Well, the injuries are on my hands. I don't think I really need to worry about that right now. I was going to clean my clothing to hopefully reduce the risk of infection, but... <sighs> yeah, I'm fit in there. That's not ideal. Okay. Hopefully that decides to clear itself up. Um, but yeah, I think we have some food. Yeah, the TV dinner. We can eat. Eat half of one. Nice little high sodium diet right there. Okay. Feeling a little sad. Aww. Okay, well. I'd really like to get through um, at least one of these things. So let's go ahead and we'll we'll just sit down real quick. Stop shaking. Stop it. Stop it. Okay. Okay, let's let's just let's have a, a nice calm day of reading. We're just gonna read and uh, hope that uh, we don't die because we're bitten. But I think we're going to die. I think that's what that means, literally, is, is bitten means you're, you're fucked, right?
Where are my television programs? There we go. How are we looking here? Okay. Oh! How dare you? Did you just bite my same fucking hand? So rude. Alright, Grandma, you too. Would bandage that up, I guess. How dare they? Oh, had a key. Man, they knocked off my glasses and my lovely little summer hat. I think once again I picked up the glasses, but I didn't put them on. Oh, I did. Okay. Let's sit once again, and hopefully finish reading this first aid book. Which, to be fair, we're probably going to end up dying real quick after we read it. We're going to learn how to treat ourselves, and then we're going to be like, oh shit. Sir, this place is no longer safe. I should really not be doing this in this living room right now. Y'all on the place. Oh, you keep knocking my hat off, man. Okay, well, unfortunately, I don't think we're going to be uh, doing much here. Um, that's energy. Painkillers reduces pain. I'm in. I'm in pain. I think I'll take the painkillers. Uh, let's take some pills. Okay. Use some water, so let's go ahead and up that to the sink. Is it out of water? No way, right? Yeah, I really didn't expect the water to turn off after one day. Absolutely insane. Dried chickpeas. Increases my thirst, though. A beer bottle? Is it, like, full of beer? Okay, it is. Well, we have some, some water stuff right now. I can grab... really don't want to use those. Where was the chocolate and stuff? Here we go. Chocolate and marshmallows. I can take those, because those will be food for me for later. Although I am very overweight now because I'm sick. Yeah, I'm I'm dying. Okay, yeah, when you get bitten, you're fucked. That's fine. You know what? We'll just go die. We'll go out and blaze of glory. I think down south there were some more zombies, yeah. Man, that's a bummer. That's a real bummer. I like how now that I want to find the zombies, there are none around. There was like a huge cluster down here before. Come on. Come on, you bastards. Come get me. You know, even though we did not last as long as we did in our previous, like, lives, necessarily, I think we did better. Because we actually, you know, had, like, Something going on, right? Ooh, what's that? What does the blue mean? Because we're gonna die is what it's gonna mean. 
Ah! Oh, that's another bite on my... They always get the hands! Oh no, that's not another bite, that's just me having been bit there again. Okay, they damaged it. Get the damage off. Come at me, you bastard! I can't even get one of them killed. I guess it helps if I point in the right direction, but yeah, we're dead. Ripper -on. One day, ten hours. Yeah, I think the best time we had was like two days, but that was when we were uh, on our last one, so... Whoopsies! <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna end here since this is a good stopping point, and then we will uh, pick up again, starting a new character. Ah, for now.